death of a great priest, Father Everardo Ocampo, another victim of COVID-19. With sorrow, we announce the death of Father Everardo Antonio Ocampo Pelais, a great priest of the Diocese of Armenia, Quindío, Colombia, who passed away on June 9, 2021. He served in his priestly ministry for 20 years. He grew up in a humble environment that led him to choose the vocation of the priesthood. He died at 48 years of age. He was an administrator in several parishes in the Diocese of Armenia and also participated in the charismatic renewal movement. Father Everardo's death was a consequence of COVID-19, a disease he suffered in an ICU in Armenia, Quindío, for several weeks, in which he was intubated. Finally, his condition deteriorated and because of several infections and complications, he rested in the peace of the Lord. With pain, we lead his departure, but with joy, we entrusted him to the Eternal Father for the repose of his soul. Today, I want to share with you some anecdotes of his personal life that few people knew, but that are worthy of knowing and remembering in order to have a better appreciation of these great priests. Someone who was a very close friend of Father Everardo told me these things. During his participation in the charismatic renewal, Father Everardo received the anointing of the Holy Spirit that manifested itself in him with gifts of liberation. He was pastor of the municipality of Pichao. In one occasion, he went to celebrate Holy Mass and found the church empty of faithful. As a priest, he felt great pain for the indifference of the people towards the mysteries of the Holy Eucharist. But in return, the Lord granted him a vision in which he saw that the church was full of angels. There was a young man who practiced ya ye, which is a ritual in which a hallucinogenic drug of indigenous origin is consumed. This type of witchcraft is associated with spiritism and shamanism. Father Everardo corrected this young man of this spiritual disorder. The young man died, and the same day of his death, his soul appeared to Father Everardo, asking for forgiveness for the sin of practicing Yaye. The priest absolved him of his sins. On another occasion, in a certain place, there was a young man who was working there. He was tattooed with a goblin to whom he rendered worship. In the same house, there were several unbaptized children. The demons tried to possess the children, and Father Everardo was called to put them in spiritual order, which he did by baptizing these children according to the Catholic sacramental rite. In this way, they were liberated and did not suffer any more attacks from the demons that otherwise could have possessed them. On one occasion, Father Everardo was celebrating the Holy Eucharist. Prayers were being made for the liberation of a lady from ancestral chains. Everyone felt horses passing over the church and the lady was liberated. Another lady in her parish had problems associated with demons. She visited another priest to have some sacramentals placed, such as holy water, oil, and salt. But the problems continued. She visited Father Everardo, who exorcised the sacramentals, which, when used by the lady, achieved the effect of liberation that she was looking for. As such, there was a manifestation of diarrhea in which the demons that troubled her were expelled. 
because the previous priest only blessed the sacramentals, but Father Everardo exorcised them. When Father Everardo was pastor of the Church of Greece in Armenia, there was an image of the Virgin Mary that many people saw crying. He also saw her crying several times and proceeded to inform the bishop so that he could decide what could be done. While he was the pastor of the Schoenstatt Shrine on a certain occasion, when he was celebrating the Holy Eucharist, and there was a manifestation of the Virgin Mary inside the church, and then several people witnessed the dance of the Son. On one occasion, when he was ill, he received his physical healing during a conversation with Father Anthony Lutens, now deceased, one of the founders of the Eucharistic Communicators of the Heavenly Father. Praying once for a person suffering from anxiety, the Lord showed Father Everardo that, that one of the causes was a relative who had died in a psychiatric center for grief, and this caused the affection of the nervous system. On another occasion, a girl was brought to him who had gone into a trance due to an affectation of evil spirits. Father Everardo, in order to prevent her from falling into possession, gave her a solution for her sins even in her trance state, which prevented the girl from getting worse, and then he directed her to an exorcist priest. There is also another testimony of a woman who lived in adultery, whose name we omit respecting her privacy. She herself gave testimony of how she went to confess to Father Everardo, who told her that he could not give her absolution because of her sin. She, in her weakness, humbly asked the Virgin Mary to help her and give her strength to get out of that sin. And so she received the grace to continue with the other person only as friends. And she stopped the sin of adultery. She became a promoter of the consecration of children to the Virgin Mary, an apostolate that has led her to consecrate more than 3,000 children, and that she says she owes to Father Everardo, who brought her closer to the Blessed Virgin Mary. When Father Everardo was a priest in the municipality of Pigeo, on a certain occasion there was a storm. The people feared that the river could overflow and cause a lot of damage, since there was already a house threatened to be swept away. Father Everardo took the Easter cross and placed it in that place. From that moment on, the river came down and returned to normal. Surely there are more anecdotes to tell about Father Everardo who is now in the peace of the Lord. It should be noted that Father Everardo was not in agreement with the new doctrines of the current pontiff. Although for prudence, he did not reveal it publicly. A great priest has died. And why is a priest so great? The priest is the person who has the highest dignity among human beings to bring Christ to the altar in the Holy Eucharist and to administer the sacraments of the real presence of Christ on earth. Thanks to a priest, we were baptized and received our garment of light in baptism to become part of the body of Christ. A priest has at one time or another forgiven us our sins and put us at peace with God. A priest gave us our first communion. A priest married us 
And so a priest, if it is the will of God, will give us the anointing of the sick in our last sickness. And also a priest will prepare us for our journey to eternity when we are inside a coffin. Thank you, Lord, for the priests. We pray that they will be faithful to their holy ministry and that you will forgive them all their faults and grant them salvation. If you like this video, please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel, The Work of God. Share on social networks and do not forget to leave your valuable comments. Tell us what you think about priests. We know that not all of them are the same. Have you ever met a holy priest? God bless you.